So that becomes part of the conversation. But in our case, we really wanted to differentiate the web, the, 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 the tablet product from the, um, from the, turn it on and, and show it to you in a second here. We wanted to differentiate the tablet product from the, from the web product and had a, an idea that we would uh, attempt to charge for access to the, to the, uh, to the tablet uh, product given that, you know, people who have these are people with higher disposable incomes. If you're going to charge for access to something like this, you really don't want it to be a representation of what you're doing on your website because the website is free, the website is um, um, uh, going to compete with it directly. You want to change the, the, the rules of the game. So we, we, we uh, for, for, for those reasons and for one other reason, um, and that other reason is a belief that the, the, the form and the shape of print has its own set of advantages that, that are actually lost on the web. The advantages of, of, the, of the print design uh, are, are primarily uh, two. One, one is that the, the editorial judgment, the editorial judgment of the newsroom um, is better reflected on print than in the typical web design where everything flows into a template and your, your, your ability to manipulate is, uh, is fairly limited. Uh, whereas in print, um, subtle <coughs> clues and indicators about uh, relationships between information and importance are easy to, uh, uh, to, to show. The second is that, and, the, and this is not a small advantage, print has a beginning and an end. The web doesn't have an end at all. The only, re the, the only way you quit reading a website is you exhaust your interest and you go away tired. But with print, you can read it from end to end and in theory at least have a good overview. You may be skimming, you may be pretty light in, in, in your penetration of some of this stuff, but you get a, 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 a fairly good overview of what is important today in the community. So the theory behind this, this thing that we're calling Replica++ Plus Plus was that um, we would appeal to people who liked the, the form, the fit and finish, and the design, and the structural approach of, of newspaper, uh, of print. And then we would layer on top of that some um, uh, things that you can't do with print, like searchability. Uh, we, we pop up uh, an HTML version of, of the story. Um, we can uh, uh, add slideshows and videos. I don't think there's any videos in today's, um, uh, in, in today's um, edition. But uh, we, we can uh, layer several kinds of plus-plus stuff on top of, uh, of, of the basic print design. So uh, the, the relationship between this and the web is also important because social sharing of, of content <laughs> is a major driver of traffic. So uh, we've um, connected this uh, to the web through commenting. There's a, there's a button up here that you can uh, click and the pop-up window shows up so you can add comments, you can, you can share on Facebook and, and Twitter and so on. And the link that gets shared uh, will be specific to this app but the website understands it and then responds and redirects you to the right page. So we can tell what's being shared from the, uh, what, what originally was shared from the, from the uh, tablet application. People who do not have this get the content they were looking for. Um, and then the, uh, the last point is that uh, uh, breaking news, breaking news updates are, are built into it. So uh, in the background, the app will uh, pull or, uh, the server and, and, and look for uh, look for updates. Probably none yet today from 
Augusta. We got some feedback from early users um, that we were providing too many updates. And that surprised us because we thought updates were pretty important. And they are really important on the web. But what the, the tablet re readers were looking for is a sense of permanence and stability. And please do not annoy me by making the icon turn bright red and show up with a little star and say something really important. You better go look. And then I go look. And it's just a, you know, a story about a fender bender in Evans. Um, so we've, we've basically raised the bar for what we push to the tablet in, in terms of updates. But the, uh, the image is, um, is, is that of the final edition of the, of the newspaper. We have this running in Augusta and, um, uh, Augusta and, and uh, Lubbock. And we have uh, two or three more newspapers ready to go online shortly. Okay, so how, how does all this get, get built? Um, a couple of years ago, uh, we looked around the company knowing that we had to take a lot of cost out of operating the business. And we, we um, um, quickly identified our old production process as a, as a, as a pain point and um, decided to uh, move all of our newspapers off of locally installed content management systems like DTI and, 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 and Baseview that were uh, locally installed, local hardware, and locally administered. We decided to move them onto a cloud-based system, an internet-based uh, system that would be uh, outsourced, gets us out of the business of, of having to worry about capital for the servers and and it gets us out of the business of having to have an IT guy worry about the, the computer that is running in Brainerd. Um, we still have to worry about other things like whether the network is, is up. But um, we, we migrated um, um, to this system called uh, Content Watch from, from uh, Media Spectrum. Uh, we're not entirely there yet, but uh, the majority of, an, of our newspapers are now on it. Jacksonville is the big one, and it's, it's going live in a, in a few weeks. Um, um, Media Spectrum, uh, when, the, when, the, when the iPad came out, the guys at Media Spectrum, like everybody else, got really excited about it, and they came to us with a proposal for an iPad app that was kind of flipboardy. And we looked at it and said, um, no, that's not actually what we were thinking about, and asked them to go back and build us one that was um, uh, newspaper-y. And, and they did that uh, for us fairly quickly. The advantage of having that single vendor relationship um, is that everything works from a production perspective. When you design the newspaper, when you paginate the newspaper, that is the same system that is integrated with the delivery to the iPad. So we have fairly little newsroom involvement uh, with the iPad edition that, that, that is um, extra work. Uh, there are a couple of um, uh, minor things that have to be attended to. One is um, the if I show you the front of the site again, is it front, front of the site? You see, I'm an online guy. Things like uh, stories, mapping them to data is inherently done by the system because it knows what data goes there. But these skyboxes, what are they linked to? So somebody has to go through and say, well, this links to 2A. This links to the applause section. So it's little little indications like that that go above and beyond what you would have done anyway to build that page uh, to create links. Then you have to go in and, and, uh, and worry about um, um, value-add uh, content like slideshows, uh, upload all of them, tie them in with something. Advertising, if there's an ad that has a pop-up and 
and a, uh, and a video attached to it, that has to be related to the PDF uh, or, or to the page image in, in, the, uh, in the newsroom system. But you could not do any of that. You could skip all of that and still have a functioning, uh, a mostly functioning uh, app the following day for, uh, for, for the subscribers. So the, the newsroom's workload is minimized to the extent that we can. Uh, updates, that kind of thing, are um, uh, pretty much automated when you pump something out to the web in the middle of the day. It also, uh, unless you tell it not to, will be updated on the iPad. Um, and and um, that's about it. The, the, the goal uh, was to keep the, the cost of operation as low as we possibly could. So um, why don't we open up for, for questions or conversation or, yeah, Roger. They're um, actually not PDFs. They start out as PDFs, but uh, the application generates um, um, uh, some, some bitmaps, JPEGs, at various, various resolutions and sends those into local storage on the device. So. Yeah, it, it's it's done uh, it's done in in the uh, in the content watch system before it goes through the conversion processes. Yeah, I, that's a great question. Um, let's face it, the newspaper industry is getting its butt kicked in the court of public opinion, and if we don't stand up and and say that we are going to embrace a digital future and say that in a very powerful way then we're going to be nibbled to death by a thousand competitors who come around portraying us as big and dumb and slow moving. So yeah, um, the, the iPad uh, uh, edition is really uh, a tool for changing public perception of what we do. There's a tremendous amount of sizzle there. Uh, there's also a tremend tremendous amount of sizzle around the apps. Now, as I said, the the mobile web is where the traffic is, but let me, I, I went into a room um, uh, at work, uh, uh, this is probably about four months ago, uh, we were pulling together a team to work on an HTML5 um, rethink of, of our mobile uh, 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 products, and um, the whiteboards in the room were covered with writing because there had been an advertising meeting there the day before. So the, the, the room was just full of ad people and they left all their notes on the wall and they had written down the various products. And it's a really broad product line and it's a tough educational program, uh, uh, you know, process to get the, get the ad people up to speed on all this stuff. But you could tell by looking at the whiteboard where the energy was. The energy was all around the app stack. That they they were they were going to sell sponsorships of the apps because that's what the advertiser audience was buzzed about. And we looked at that, and there was you know under under mobile web it says banners, which we know are a terrible terrible way to 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 make money on on on. Uh, online period uh, uh, and, and especially on the um, on the phone so so the 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 excitement is out there about tablets and mobile and SEO and text messaging the the advertiser community gets this stuff and they look at us as being three steps four steps five steps behind everybody else because they've got you know people from everybody from Groupon down to down to uh, you know some guy in Columbia South Carolina chasing them uh, and, and and making sales pitches to him so that yeah that um, that's really important